Welcome back to Area DMG. I am your host, Philip Wesley, the Malai Malva, and today we're going to be taking a look at what you saw in the thumbnails, which, um, well, it's, uh, I'm going to unbox two games, or rather, four games, sort of. Um, what I'm going to be unboxing today is the, um, Overcooked Special Edition plus Overcooked 2, and then Overcooked All You Can Eat. Now, on the Switch, Overcooked has been released four times, or rather, um, well, Overcooked's been released three times, Overcooked 2 has been released three times, the Overcooked series has four separate titles for it on the Nintendo Switch. And weirdly enough, a lot of it is regurgitated content. You have the original game, I, I need to go and find, like, if I find the, um, I can find the cover art in a little case to put those in, but I was just like, no, for illustration purposes, I'm going to have them outside of here. Here's Overcooked, the first one that came out. Had some issues with um, the engine and such. That game was kind of rough. It, I got it originally from the comp from Team 17, initially, when they put it out from, um, it was Overcooked or, no, it was, wasn't Team 17, no, it was Team 17. I got the original one on the PlayStation 3, and then they sent it to me on the Switch. The Switch one had all sorts of horrible frame drops. There were parts where the frame rate would drop to like five. We're talking like single digit frame drops in some of these levels, which considering it's a four player co-op cooking game, that was bad. Then they fixed those after several patches, and the patched versions are the ones that are on this particular game cartridge, or game card. Overcooked 2 came out, has additional stuff. What's funny about these is that neither of these ones contain the DLC for it, but weirdly enough, there was another release of Overcooked where they put Overcooked and Overcooked 2 on a um, on a single game card, which we're going to open up here. And then the newest one is Overcooked All You Can Eat, which is on next-gen consoles like PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, and then also on the Switch. That one contains all the content from these, but with stuff from the first one over, over, overcooked, or, or like, recooked, or refurbished? No, it's got, okay, so they took back the original recipe for overcooked, put it onto overcooked all you can eat, using the engine refinements from Overcooked 2, including all of the DLC from these previous games, all the levels, and then all sorts of new content for it. But first, let's go ahead and open up Overcooked Special Edition plus Overcooked 2. This is a little bit like what Nintendo did with, say, Fire Emblem, um, I forgot which one it was. It was Fire Emblem Revelations, then another one out here, but yeah. It's got two award-winning culinary adventures in one. Yay! But yeah, let's, uh, this is the side of that box. Back of the box. Front of the box. And inside is that, and then both of them on a single game card. Which is kind of hilarious. Mmm. It tastes like revisionism. I don't know what revisionism tastes like, but it probably tastes as bitter as that. Anywho. So here's these. You have Overcooked, Overcooked 2, and then Overcooked 1 plus 2 on the same game card. <laughs> it's kind of like how there's multiple versions of Trine. There's Trine 1, 2, and 3 on the same game card, and then Trine 4 on its own separate game card. But if you get the Trine Collector's Edition, that only has 4 on the game card and then a, then a download code for 1, 2, 3, which is ridiculous. I was a little worried that this would have a download code for that, but no, they just kind of crammed them all into that. So here's these. And then the weirdly unnecessary, but also kind of necessary, re-release, which would be Overcooked All You Can Eat. Now let's see here, we have Overcooked All You Can Eat. This one has the, this is the Peckish Rises, includes exclusive new content. It's kind of like also how um, Animal Crossing New Leaf for the Nintendo 3DS has two different versions that were released. The original one, and then the Welcome Amiibo Edition, which has all of the DLC that was added to it on the game card. Kind of like also what um, Pokemon Company did with Pokemon Sword and Shield, where they put a version that has all the DLC on it as well. 
There you go, there's the back of it. It includes both games, all DLC, remastered, full cross-platform multiplayer, and over 200 plus levels of co-op cooking chaos for one to four players. The cross-platform means that, unlike these previous ones, you can play this one online, mm -hmm. and against PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and um, Xbox One and Xbox Series players. So, that's kind of a neat little thing. They've added a bit to it. And this is a version you want to buy. These two right here, um, you might be able to find like used copies of two. Number one was kind of a weird one where it wasn't really released a lot. Two is the one that they um, they really kind of pushed that out. It's less limited. And then the one that's one plus two on there, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Anywho, there it is. And here's the game card for it. Let's put this one aside. Mmm. Mmm, even if I were a little bit peckish, I wouldn't eat that. I love that bittering that they put on these. Anywho, here's all four versions of two different games. <laughs> but if you are looking to get this to play just this, pick up Overcooked, um, um, the All You Can Eat Edition. The first and second ones were, if I remember correctly, removed from the eShop. And then the bundle is also removed from the eShop. All three of these three are out of print. This one had a very limited print run, so good luck. And this is the one you want to get if you want to play this game for the first time or so. Definitely recommend getting multiple controllers and getting friends that you don't want to be friends with anymore. Because this one is maddening in multiplayer. I'm kidding, of course. Actually, it's a... If you've ever run, like, a, a kitchen or whatnot, and you have people with you who will go do the things, like, hey, go and go set the, go set the, um, like, let's say you're making soup. Someone has to go and chop the onions. Someone has to go and fill the pot with water. And then someone has to go and watch it. Then someone has to plate it. Someone has to deliver it. That type of thing. You just have everyone work on specific tasks, and you'll be fine. Think of it as a resource management game. Because there's also no really competitive aspect to it, it's cooperative. Similar to things like, say, Pandemic is a pretty good game that's cooperative. But yeah, here's all of Overcooked. One plus two, plus a ridiculous amount of extra stuff. Um, this one actually here has some of, the, um, some of the DLC that was added. Like, I remember we were all kind of excited in the original Overcooked when we unlocked a chef that was just a raccoon in a wheelchair. Um, Overcooked All You Can Eat actually has um, the Swedish chef as one of the DLC things in it. So that's kind of neat. And there's tons of other crazy weird stuff with it. Pretty good little game. But yeah, let me know in the comments below if you've played any of these. Did they make you upset? Probably not if um, you're playing with people who are not easily frustrated or won't get in your way. You know what? This is one of those games where there's actually a cursing button. If you press on the D-pad in certain areas, your character will let out a small string of um, of specialized characters that's supposed to represent profanity, which I always thought was kind of hilarious. Anywho, let me know in the comments below what you think of the series. Have you played or beaten any of these? Have you defeated the peckish? Have you survived the night of the living bread? Let me know in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up, share button, subscribe button. Ring that little dinner bell to be notified whenever we have a brand new video here on Area DMG. And until the next serving of Area DMG is out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.